Exactly. Well, some of the most iconic and fiercest competitors from the reality competition show, The Challenge, are set to do battle for a big prize. That's right. John is standing by with more on The Challenge All-Stars. <laughs> Guys, it's The Challenge All-Stars, but then even among All-Stars, mm -hmm. there are All-Star All-Stars. Ooh. Okay. And we have one with us this morning. Mark Long joining us live from Miami. Good morning, sir. Thanks for being with us. Thank you for the kind words, John. And as always, I'm coming in hot and ferocious just for you, my man. <laughs> you, would, you would expect nothing less. Okay, so I don't normally uh, start an interview by mentioning someone's age, but I have to say I was shocked to find out you are 49 years old. You are in fantastic shape. Uh, but this show is no joke, the challenges that you guys have to go through. And you've done like five or six of these. Do you ever find yourself when you're out there in these challenges going, what, what am I doing? Why am I putting myself through this? Well, you would think with the challengers now for the All-Stars being a little older in age that they would have gone a little easier on us, but they actually went the opposite. So when they <laughs> turned up the intensity, it was just for us. So you'll see as this competition goes, they don't cut corners. The stakes are even higher than they used to be. And the fact that we brought back, you know, 22 of your favorite faces from the past, um, and sprinkled in a lot of fun along the way. I think that's one of the things that the fans love is the fun aspect of the show that, that was kind of lost lately. But we're coming in, we're showing up, and we're, we're ready to battle. Uh, so the first episode had a challenge that I, I said would be the worst thing for me. It involved math and swimming where you guys had to solve a math problem and then dive into the lake and find the answer. Was that as hard as it looked? The funny thing about that challenge is the swimming was actually the easiest part of it. The yeah. fact that the water was 49 degrees oh my God. and your body would lock up and you saw Arissa lock up and, and, and Ruthie lock up and, yeah. and Kendall. So the fact the water was so cold was the biggest kind of wild card element that day. It was freezing. I can only imagine. Okay, so you famously started your MTV career on Road Rules, what, like 1995? Now, as an adult, looking back, which would be harder, traveling the country in an RV with a group of people or competing on the challenge? Oh, I think for me, competing on the challenge has always been my love and yeah. kind of my passion. Uh, road rules now, if I went back at 49 and having to be in that confined space of a Winnebago, I think I could still pull it off. Mm -hmm. But in terms of how much fun I would have, maybe not so much. So the fact that... You know, they, they brought me on to executive produce this project and also be kind of like a player coach is amazing. Mm -hmm. um, and I'm thrilled to be a part of it. But Paramount Plus is also bringing back Road Rules. So don't be surprised if the king of Road Rules myself shows up at one oh, point or another. Oh, okay. So you say don't be surprised. So I'm going to take that is you are definitely going to be on the new Road Rules. <laughs> Only time will tell, my friend. Only time will tell. Okay, so last week we had Derek and Gisela on, and I told them that I used to actually exercise, work out with TJ when I lived in Las Vegas. And I said he is one of the most mellow people I have ever met, and Derek called it the worst TJ take he's ever heard. Can you back me up a little bit? At least outside the competition of the show, he is a very chill guy. TJ, when he's in game mood, he is the most feared man on set because he's either walking in with great news or terrible news, and it's usually terrible news. <laughs> Outside of the challenge, TJ is very mild-mannered. Uh, mm -hmm. I see him playing guitar uh, at open mics a lot, very chill. Um, so, yeah, I think his personality at home is a lot different than on the challenge, but mm -hmm. I will say this. TJ is always the best dressed one on set, whether it's the puffy jackets or the nice fitted <laughs> jeans with the boots. Everyone is always jealous of his swag while we are standing there in Under Armour, you know, tights and looking like clowns. So <laughs> TJ is always the best dressed. Uh, well, it is great. It is the All Star uh, Challenge, the All Stars, excuse me. Mark Long, you are one of the All Stars of the All Stars. It is streaming on Paramount Plus right now. Thank you for stopping by. We're glad to see you. Thank you so much, guys. Appreciate it.